Okay, welcome, welcome everyone to the training today. Uh, my name is Trevor and I it's my pleasure to be your presenter. We're going to talk about AliExpress and some international uh, product sourcing again today. And I want to help you guys uh, help you guys decide on different items that you can source that you can feel or that you can feel pretty comfortably about because I don't want us to take a lot of risks when you're doing this. You know, the, I guess the, the big drawback in, in any time you're carrying a little of your own inventory is, is the possibility of that inventory sitting on your shelves and collecting a lot of dust, right? You buy it, you're excited about it, you put some money into it, and then you get stuck with it because you can't sell it. That's my concern. And, and I think that's a lot of your guys' concerns and, and some of the main reasons why more and more people don't buy and carry their own inventory. Now, this isn't a drop shipping strategy, so that's my disclaimer. If, if you'd prefer only to do drop shipping, I completely understand that, and you're welcome to do that. Um, but I would at least keep an open mind to this because this can end up being very good. Okay? So using AliExpress, the first question I always get from my clients is they use this website. Remember, just as a quick recap, AliExpress.com um, carries a lot of really, really cheap stuff. Okay, that's the best way I can I can describe it. It carries cheap stuff. I'm not talking cheap in terms of quality, although there are some poor quality items here. I'm talking more cheap in terms of uh, rock bottom type prices. And this is sourced directly out of China for the most part. Uh, so you're getting some serious cheap stuff out of AliExpress. But before you go and break the bank buying a bunch of it, hoping that it's going to sell, I want to give you just a little bit of direction on how you might consider what you end up buying, okay? And we'll do some examples together right now so you guys can get a better feel for that. So as a way to start, can I can I just suggest for you guys that are newer at this, um, come to their best-selling section to start. You see this right here? I'm going to zoom in just a touch and, and let you guys see this. Here's best-selling. I'm going to click on it. And it classifies it in a couple of different ways. You've got hot products. And you've got weekly best selling, okay? Hot products and weekly best selling. I'll click on the hot products right now. These would be based on on current AliExpress sales. These items are moving quickly. Um, so it says right here, view the fastest selling products, get them while they're hot. So this stuff is trending. It's stuff that probably will sell fairly well, but you still need to do a little bit of research on it. And a lot of you guys who have never been in the merchandising world, maybe you've been in teaching or in medicine. Some of you guys I work with are builders. Others have been in IT. Maybe you don't know what's hot and what sells well. This right here is going to give you a pretty good indication. So you can, you can classify it by different sections. You can look at the fashion section. Okay? You can look at electronics. We could look at sports, health and beauty, so on and so forth, kids and baby. Okay, This is currently what's selling really well right this second. Now, if you want to look at their weekly bestsellers, it's kind of the same type of thing, only they give rankings to all of this stuff. So according to this, here's their, here's their weekly bestseller list right here. And you can kind of scroll down and see, according to them, what's selling best. Check out this one right here. This uh, iPhone case for a buck 38, 61,526 orders. There's no doubt that's popular. Check out these little, um, these little pearl earrings. 52 cents a pair, they've been sold 16,283 times. And as we scroll down, you can see more and more. Now, they give you categories here too, guys. So um, you've got men, electronics, sports, health and beauty, etc., automotive. And you could look through here and uh, see if you can't find some decent items to sell. Now, I'm looking at the automotive section here. If I'm scrolling through this, what should I be concerned about first before I ever decide on, on uh, what to look at? I quickly will cut out things that I see as I'm looking at it. And there's one thing 
uh, maybe two things here that I would immediately cut out and I wouldn't even consider. What two things are those? You guys can see what's on my page. There's one, two, three, four. There's like 10 products here. Two things I wouldn't even consider selling. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what they are. This one right here, the Despicable Me item, and this one right here, the one that has the um, Superman, Spider-Man, Batman, that little item right there. Now, why? Real quick, I I I know I've 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 talked a lot about this, but let's let's talk about it one more time. Why am I auto automatically excluding? these two items with these recognizable brands and um, logos on them. It's, it's a legal issue, isn't it? Yep. It is a legal issue. Guys, I can't, I can't sell despicable me products without the express authorization of the owner of Despicable Me. Right? Uh, who owns Despicable Me? Isn't it... Uh, does Disney own them? I want to say it's Dis. Well, it's, it's like... It's Pixar or something, right? Yeah, I thought it was Disney. If, if, I, if I went straight out of China and bought this, right... This is only a buck sixty-eight. Guess how much royalty Disney is going to make off of this thing? Zero, right? Because guess what? This random manufacturer in China has no authorization from Disney. I can guarantee you that. Disney doesn't work that way, and no, nor do any of these other big name brands. Disney has their own distribution channels. And the reason why they're so protective over that is if I'm Disney and I'm the one who made Despicable Me, you better believe I want some royalty on every single Despicable Me product that's ever sold. So I'm going to be very careful about my distribution chains, which is why if you see it sold on AliExpress, don't do it. It's not authorized. It's not licensed. You could probably even message the person and ask, but you'd be wasting your time. Because it's not. So don't buy stuff like that. Don't don't even don't even flirt with it. Because you know what? If you sell a whole bunch of it and never get caught, more power to you. You you know. But you'll always think in the back of your mind, what if I do get caught? Because Disney will sue you. Or Nike will sue you. Or any other recognizable name brand. So please. I know I've said this a million times, but if you're going to consider sourcing product directly out of China, and we're going to see a lot of those as we as we look around products today that are branded. I could flip through here a little bit and probably see more. Please just don't. It's it's not worth the risk. I want to make sure you know what we choose is more generic. And and you'll see a lot of good generic products. You really will. Okay. Um, how can they get away with making them, Lucretia? You know what? I don't know. I mean, I think it's because they're out of China. And I, I don't know with with Disney and, and a lot of American brands originating here, I think it's very difficult to go in and try to prosecute some random place in China. And you know what? They're like flies too. You swat one of them and six more come in through your window and are flying around and buzzing, right? You can't get them all. And so maybe they do. I, I'm not sure legally what Disney does, but I'll tell you right now, Disney and other and other companies don't have a hard time getting Americans that are selling it because you're a whole lot easier to find. And they could come after you. So not to scare anybody here, right? I'm just trying to save you guys some headache. I want to make sure that what we source out of out of AliExpress is totally legit completely legal and you can sleep good at night knowing knowing that you're doing the right thing and i don't think it's fair either if you think about it 
how fair is it that you get to just use their brand and make money off of it? That's not fair. They're, they're not taking a royalty. So, so nor should you. Okay. All right. I'll get off my soapbox about that. I'm, I'm passionate about it because I've, I've dealt with it on an individual level and with clients over the years. And you just have to be so careful. Okay. All right. So um, anyway, these sections are awesome, guys. If you don't know what's selling, uh, these are great places to start. Um, where was that category section under best selling here? Oh, here you go. Um, so look through different categories and see kind of what you like. Sports, right? Make sure it's non-branded stuff. And it looks like a lot of this kind of stuff is non-branded. If you see something you kind of like, then then and, and the price looks decent, then we can consider looking it up with on, within um, uh, within eBay. So uh, we could do this right now. I could look here. I mean, I'm in the uh, I'm in the home and garden section, and I can flip through this and see if I, I find anything that I like. You know, we talked about quickly eliminating stuff that's that's name brand. Um, I would also consider eliminating stuff that's also too large. Um, larger items are tougher for you to ship, and and so I would I would be a little more careful with that. Try not to do larger stuff. Uh, smaller stuff when you first start is, is going to be better for sure. So, you know, why don't we find something here? Here's one right here. This is uh, number 11. Um, this is a little, a little flashlight, it looks like. Okay, so tiny little flashlight. It's not branded. So I, I feel good about that. I can get it for, and, and if I look at it, it's 4.7 stars. There's over 4,000 votes. It's been ordered a lot, so it's it's obviously a decent product. I can get it for $6 a piece, but one thing you'll notice is if you order through the app, the AliExpress app, sometimes you can get them cheaper. In this case, I could get this thing for 3 bucks. Okay. Now looking at it, I know shipping on it because it's small, and this is just because I've got experience doing some shipping. I know looking at this little item right here, I could probably ship it for around three bucks, right? So I'm going to add three dollars in shipping so I can figure out kind of what my true cost is here. My true cost is six dollars, and I could probably order as many of these as I want, right? It's going to cost me three dollars to ship it to anybody. But but shipping is free here. I mean, this is this thing literally cost me three dollars, right? Which is which is pretty cool. Um, now it's shipped via China Post, and China Post estimated time is between fifteen and twenty six days. That's not bad. They say it ships out within three days. So worst case, I'm gonna have this thing in a month. Best case, I'm gonna have this thing in a little over two weeks right? Which, which, which isn't too bad. Um, but that's the downside too, right? The shipping time is a little long. Okay. So I, I could read through some of these and click see all feedbacks and I can, I can come in here and, and uh, look at some of the commentary that was made. This person gave it five stars, but says light is not as bright as advertised. Works well enough for the price. This one gave it one star. This is this was so weak. Do not believe the hype. It has to be very dark to see the light. Okay, that's not a very good a very good review. This one says never arrived. Oh, hey, by the way, so if you see something like this, never arrived, don't stress about it. It's not a big deal because if it doesn't arrive, you can file a report to AliExpress and they'll they'll refund your money. Okay, so you'll be you'll be good. You'll be good there. What I'm looking for here mainly is okay, is the quality decent? Are most of the ratings five stars, four stars? Okay, okay, great. I liked, right? Because if I'm gonna turn around and resell this, I want to make sure it's decent. Now, this please keep in mind, right? This is a three dollar flashlight. Like 
how good can it actually be, right? But a $3 flashlight on the American market out of China, because this is so cheap, could easily be marked up to maybe 15 bucks, right? We could probably sell it for 15 bucks. If the shipping on it is, is three and I'm getting it for three, that's six bucks. I, yeah, after fees and stuff, I may, I might make seven or eight bucks off of one of these sales. And who knows, this could be a good seller for a while, right? So is it worth a try? Maybe. I, I think before I do anything, I probably hop over to eBay real quick and just do a search for it or something similar to it. Um, Let's look for let's look for a mini LED flashlight and see what we can find. Okay, here's one for six bucks. Here's one for five. Now keep in mind when you see lower prices like this, be skeptical. Go click on the listing and look at it. Okay. I can almost guarantee this person is probably sourcing out of China. See, they're in California, and I can tell they're in California. So they're selling it for $4.99. That's pretty darn cheap. Ten bucks. Now, notice you're going to see a lot out of China here, right? Always look for the from China, because when I see a from China logo or a note, I, I don't worry as much. Here's what's crazy about this, right? Like this item right here. This is three dollars and seventy cents um, out of China. Um, they they had ten sold in the last hour. There's enough people on eBay that are actually willing to buy this thing um, for three seventy directly out of China. And if you look and come down into the shipping details here, shipping and payments. Shipping on this thing says, check this out, estimated shipping delivery. Some Again, people in America are buying this right now. They're paying $370. The estimated delivery is between April 21st and May 25th. How many of you guys would actually buy a product online if the shipping date, dates were that far out? It's April 1st right now, right? So they're saying, they're basically saying, this is coming out of China, and by the way, earliest three weeks, latest a uh, couple of months. <laughs> like, you're going to get it between three weeks and two months. So, there you go. I, I mean, I probably wouldn't, especially if this was at all timely. Let's say I've got a little camping trip planned, and I wanted to get my son a little flashlight that he could play with. Uh, you know, in the world of Amazon Prime, where people get stuff within a couple with, within a couple of days, I'm not going to do that. And I'll bet a lot of other people aren't going to do that. I wonder if you surveyed a thousand people who are interested in buying a, a product like this, there would be a percentage that would look at this this listing on eBay and be like, "Nope, not going to do it." Why? Because they see that it's out of China. What percentage of people that is, I don't know. But there's going to be a big percentage that say, you know what, no thanks. That could be, I would say that could be as high as 50%, right? Those 50% still want a flashlight. So out of that 1,000 people that we surveyed, 500 are gone, 50% gone. They're looking for it for somewhere else. The other ones are like, okay, well, it's out of China, but it's still cheap. Yeah, maybe I'll do it. Out of those people, a lot of them are going to see the shipping time on it, and they're going to be like, uh... I can't afford to wait two months not doing it. So whatever percentage that is, I don't know, another another 30% are like, nope, can't do it for the shipping. Literally 800 out of those 1,000 people are, are out shopping somewhere else for this item. That's where the opportunity comes in, right? That's where I would actually consider knowing I can get this thing for for on the cheap, right? Six, uh, three bucks. And I might even hunt AliExpress a little bit more. This this may not necessarily be the cheapest. It's certainly one of the most popular because it's getting a ton of orders. So it might be decent. And the ratings are generally pretty good. So 
I would probably consider buying a couple of these for three bucks. After all, buy three of them. It co- it just costs you ten bucks, right? To buy three of these. If I could take this and I could sell this for ten bucks on eBay, and I I can guarantee you I could do that. I bet you right now I could sell this thing for ten bucks. Nine ninety nine I'd sell it for, and free shipping. I might even sell it for more than that. I mean, seriously, if I'm getting it for three, our cost on it, we said was six. If the shipping is going to cost me three bucks, I don't want to sell it for nine ninety nine. That's too little. I'd probably sell it for twelve ninety nine. So thirteen bucks minus six dollars, I'm left with seven. Minus the eBay fees, I'm left with what? Five bucks or so, right? I make five bucks on this item. Now, I know that's not making anybody rich here, right? But I can tell you from personal experience, I've built part of my business on low cost items. Because five bucks isn't a lot, yes. But five bucks times 15 orders a day over the course of 365 days, that actually is a lot, right? I mean, that, that, that can be a lot. You know, not all my items that I sell out of China, I'm only making five bucks on. There's some that, I, that, that I've made a whole lot more on, but, but five bucks, right? I, I just spent 10 bucks and I may, I may actually make 15 off of my 10. I get my 10 back and I take 15 as a profit. Now, some of you guys will be skeptical. You'll say, no, I mean, as I look around, why is somebody going to buy it for twelve ninety nine from you when they can get it for a buck eighty nine straight out of China? Check out that one right there. This is a this is a little bit of a different product. It looks like, or is it? Let's see. Maybe that's kind of the same. No, a little bit different. For a dollar eighty nine, right? But but like I said, there 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 is a big percentage of people that won't buy it because a it's out of China and b the shipping takes too long. So while you do this AliExpress research, guys, please take those two things into consideration. I, I don't even really compare my listings to these ones right here because this isn't my competition. It really isn't. My competition is more like this listing we found up here. Um, that's a that's not the same kind of product. It, this one. Okay, because check this out. They sell it for $0.50 cents shipping but it's coming out of California. And if I come down here to shipping and payments, um, you know, the shipping is estimated between April 6th and April 11th. So there's going to be a lot of people that are going to want to buy this. And they sold four within the last 24 hours, right? So it, it does work well. This is just one example. Uh, we could find we could find plenty more, and and we'll need to do more. But let me just show you a couple of other things to consider while you're doing this, real quick. Okay. So we showed you already AliExpress, and we showed you their hot products list and their best selling list, right? Um, I want to show you this real quick. This is uh, what's dash hot dash weekly dot com. This is very similar to something I've showed you before, um, which is this one right here, watchcount.com. This, they, they basically, they're the, they're the same thing on different formats. So what's-hot-weekly.com and then watchcount.com. If you come in here and you, this is, this is an eBay search. So if I, if I put in here, you know, mini LED flashlight. This is going to show me currently the most popular stuff on eBay. It's going to show me past sales right here. And it's also going to show me how many watchers are on an item. The number of watchers signifies how popular the item is, right? And certainly you can look at the sales to see how popular it is. So this will really quickly um, show you all the, the most popular stuff, okay, at, at a glance. Which is, which is pretty important. It, it'll, it'll save you in your research. So a lot of you guys, like I said earlier, who really aren't sure even where to start, do some searches on watch count to see what's super popular. 
come over here and use AliExpress directly. On their homepage, remember, I just showed you guys, check out their best selling list. Also, they've got a super deals list that's pretty good um, that you may want to look at. And then the sky's the limit. I mean, some of you guys will ask me, well, should I sell jewelry or should I do, you know, electronics or what do you think about some outdoor stuff? And I'm going to say it all could work. You just have to do a little bit of research on it like we did today. I mean, you could research yourself out of any product. I, looking at what we looked at with that little flashlight, you could have talked yourself out of it. You could have said, well, there's a lot of really cheap ones out there. I'm not really sure if I could sell it for 12, 13 bucks. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do it, right? You can research yourself in and out of almost anything. So you have to be willing to try some of this stuff out. You really do. Plus, you know, one other strategy that's pretty cool to use when you're doing this kind of stuff is let's say I had a website that I actually did sell a lot of different types of flashlights and outdoor goods. Okay. We'll say, we'll say I owned a website like that. I still would consider buying these really cheap flashlights and selling them at, at my cost. I mean, if I could get one of these flashlights for a couple of bucks, I might sell it for four or five bucks in free shipping and just break even on it and sell the crap out of it and sell tons and tons of tons of them. And then you know what I do in that packaging? I'll put in a little coupon code to my website and ship it out to the person. Guess what? I got, I got free advertising to a customer that I know is interested in flashlights and I own a flashlight site. It didn't cost me anything. All it did was it cost me a little bit of time to source a cheap product out of China and resell it right there on the spot, put my advertising in there. That's why that's why companies will, you'll see this on eBay a fair, a fair bit. That's why companies will actually do that. They'll, they'll you know, they'll put in a, a, a product that you know they're not making money on just so that they can advertise to you. It's a good strategy. So we talk about using AliExpress for a few different reasons, but at least two guys should be one to help you reduce your defect rate on eBay. And the second reason should be to find some items that can make you some serious money. I know I've, I've told this story before. I'll share it just one more time before we finish up. One of my clients years ago bought and found one item that he currently has made tens of thousands of dollars on uh, one single item. Seriously. He hit a home run with it. And those home runs are, are here to be found. Um, for him, he didn't even tr really try that hard. He kind of stumbled onto this item. Now that's the only thing he sells. And he and he makes, I don't know what he makes. Last time I looked at the item, he was selling thousands of them. And I know his profit margins were good. Selling an item for anywhere between 15 and 25 bucks. His cost on it was like 2 and uh, you can you can do the math on that. He had some serious margin built into that. So he found himself a little niche. And I would encourage you guys to do the same thing. If you're scared to do this, do it on a small level. Buy a couple of items. Try it out. Buy a little jewelry. Buy a couple of little items like this. Buy some fashion products. And, and list them and, and try it for yourself. Um, as, as your coach or whoever your coach is that you're working with, Run, run by them some of the things you're thinking about doing and try it. You know, you don't have to take a big risk here. But uh, I'll tell you, if you never try it, you may miss out on one of those home runs that, that could really be that life-changing. It's pretty cool stuff. All right, so to your questions and then we'll finish up. Um, you know, I've never sold seeds, Valerie. I don't know. I There, there were some seeds here, weren't there? I think it was under best-selling, wasn't it? Best-selling and then under home and garden yeah some of this looked pretty cool black tomatoes i've never i've never seen a black tomato honestly this is a cool this is a cool product though holland rainbow rose seeds i don't know i've never been in the seed business before it'd be worth looking into though that's that's certainly a cool looking flower um, we'll talk more about the app another time, Denise. You you can download the AliExpress app like onto your phone, and uh, and buy off of the app, and you get cheaper deals that way. Um, if if you don't recognize the brand, Google it, Lawrence. If if you see a brand name attached to something, 
hop onto Google and, and look up the brand. And if you're at all in question, contact the manufacturer and say, hey, I actually found a seller of this brand out of China. Are they authorized? And if they say no, you can say, okay, well, um, who can I buy through that is authorized? You go right to your, your – you go looking for the manufacturer, and they'll tell you who their distributors are, and then you can maybe broker a deal directly out of one of their, distri their distributors. Um, yeah, I'd say definitely not, Valerie. I mean, I, if, if I buy an item out of China and I'm sourcing it here, I don't, I certainly in, in my listings, I don't say it's a Chinese product, right? Just like Apple doesn't advertise the fact that their iPhones are assembled in China. It's a hot topic politically, isn't it? This idea that jobs are being sent overseas and that Americans are consuming a lot of products that are not American made and, and so it's it's certainly you're on the wrong side of it if if uh, you're advertising that you're selling stuff that's that's made outside of the USA. You don't have to be dishonest about it, but you certainly don't have to advertise that your products are based out of China. But it's just got such a negative connotation. It doesn't mean they're a bad product. It just means that they're made somewhere else, right? Hard to say, Kathy. How many actually look at the shipping time? I think a lot of people do. When, if you're a shopper on eBay and you shop a fair bit, um, you'll you'll see that it's based out of China and you'll see the shipping time and you'll probably get frustrated with it later, especially if you don't look at it closely. Russell, to your question, what are what are other options for determining an item will sell and, and at what price? Seriously, eBay completed listings. We didn't look at the completed listings very well, but I... I I, uh, I search eBay's listings just like we did here. I do a search for it like a customer, and I check out these numbers right here to see how many are selling at what price. And if they're out of China or out of America, I spend a fair bit of time here. And before I make a decision on buying something, I'm usually pretty confident it's going to be something that will sell. But the cool thing is even if, I, if, I, if I'm wrong, right? Let's say I bought three of those and I was completely wrong. Couldn't sell them for 13 bucks. Guess what? My cost on it was still three bucks, right? So I'll sell it for three dollars plus the cost of my shipping, and I'll break even, and I'll definitely be able to move them. So your your risk is very little because your product cost is so low. You'll at least be able to break even off of it. And yeah, Lucretia, these guys they are all drop shipping this stuff directly out of China. These these companies that are listing on eBay. Um, it's directly out of China. You bet. They're all over the place. They're on Amazon too. Um, yeah, there's coupon codes that you can get. Google them. Uh, we don't have time, much time right now to talk about that, but you can, you can get a coupon code. Google AliExpress coupon code, and sometimes you can find those and get products a little cheaper. Boy, I don't know how fresh they are, but as far as those uh, seeds are t you're talking about, Valerie, no idea, but I'll tell you what, check the votes, right? Five stars, still have the plant. Um, this person got it four stars. Very nice. This person says mal, right? Because that's Spanish for bad. Everything perfect. You just have to look through the reviews. If I were getting into the seed business and I were buying out of China, I would probably try to grow them first. Cool product though, for sure. Mm, I don't know, Russell. For something like seeds, you have to worry about U.S. regulations. I don't know. I've I've actually never done um, agriculture. I I would certainly look at eBay's. eBay has a list of of things that you can and can't sell, and and why. I would look at that eBay list probably, and, and just see if if that's on it. Uh, you can copy their pictures. I probably wouldn't though. Technically, they're they're not yours. I, I don't think they would come after you about it. Um, I'd probably be trying to take some of my own pictures off of this stuff. 
and that's how you get an edge too. Some of these Chinese pictures, they all look the same and everybody's using them. But if you take a picture of your own, that's, that's really kind of nice and looks good. Uh, that'll give you an edge on your product. Okay, good advice. Cindy says, if you subscribe to U.S. Recall List, which is uh, recalls.gov, you can also find about which items are being rejected from China. Yeah, good advice. And Denise, you say shipping from um, Light in the Box. Their shipping times are really good. Yeah, we'll have to look at Light in the Box and DHgate. There's, there's actually other companies like AliExpress that do the same thing that we can we can look at together a little bit. All right. Well, hopefully that helps you just, you know, I, I kind of want to do a few more examples. We, we don't have time today, but just kind of, just kind of show you products and give you my thought process as I do some research on the market and, and tell you what I would and wouldn't buy. We may do some of that next week. It's this stuff's a lot of fun. I, I would encourage you, even if you don't want to do it, just to, just to try it out one of these times. Um, you may find that uh, this is, you know, this ends up being a big part of your business like it is for mine. Okay. Well, guys, have a wonderful weekend, and uh, thanks for coming out. We will see you next Friday, same place, same time.